that's it's going to be the um, upper part for the ball gown that we put out this day. It's not going to be the uh, normal ammo. You can make it a slant ammo like this. It's going to be like this. Then it's come down to the waist. Like this. Then come down to the waist. Then the neck is going to be turtle neck. You know, then you're going to have a slit at the back, then you're going to put a loop, then you your body. Then from here, you can hide anything. You can make it of flay, you can make it of fleece, like the one we did yesterday. But what about if it's on, um, on top? On top. This is the length of the top. So you have this like this. You come to the waist a little bit, then you come out. You come to the waist a little bit. Then you come out. You measure your slant to this. 
with the uh, yes. Yes. Oh, that is See, if you slant it to the normal plan, you're not going to put a sewing allowance. You slant it to the sewing allowance. Then, um, after this now, they have cut. Let's say it's what? 15 inches. Let's say the half cord is 15 inches. In this kind of cutting, you don't have too much of allowance. See it? Like when I'm cutting, I only use let me say one inch allowance. So when I know the actual armor measurement, I had it um, um 2.5 inches to it or three inches, then I'm going to take the bust measurement and add one inch to it. One inch to it. So let's say the one inch is there. I'm going to slant that to that one inch. So then you take your waist measurement. Waist what? Bust 38 waist. Bust 38. Yes. No, uh, that is not going to give it what's the fine shape now. Then waist 32. Waist 32 is okay. So 32, there I go. Eight. So this is our eight. With inches of one with the uh, sewing around of one inch. So then you come down to this. Right? Do you understand, please? Then, you slant it down to the length of the top. And some people usually take the measurement of the ear to know, uh, to know to determine the wideness of the down part. You can determine that with the hip measurement if you like. And you can as well come down. But if you are saying for Big and uh, for the client that have big, make sure you take the measure. So I say, when you slant down, after sewing, this this area will not be tight. So when you determine it, then you take. Then the first measurement, the hip measurement, you take the bottom width and let's use hip forty. Ah, uh, hip forty five. Now by four. Then level one, 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 level when you fold your fabric into four, like this, then you come back here, you take the length of this area on your part, on your uh, on the top. When you take the length, this is 12 inches. You can see? So you must get that 12 inches from here. The 12 inches slant up, then from here, it's going to be the straight uh, sleeve. This is going for the shoulder that is going to join this area to make it a complete top. That's for the top with the shoulder. Do you understand what I said? Yes, ma'am. Yes, the folding is for the front and back. And if you want to put a zip at the back, you can also do that by leaving one inch for the zip allowance. The neckline, yes. Is after when you cut all this down, then you can now cut your neckline. Yes, just cuff it like a one zip. Yes, it's going to be equal. You can make it equal. I can as well uh, make the uh, front leg. This. I said. It's depending on how you want it to be. You can make it 1.5 inches, you can make it 1 inch. Yes, it's not white. 
you come here, you going from the angle side to the enough. Take it up. They are going to end, they are going to start it from the um, from this area. You reach here, then you end this up again. Yeah, it's the oneness of your um is the um oneness of the sleep. Before you cut it out, you must make sure this area is not tight. It's the oneness of the sleep with the same allowance. So after turning it, it's going to give you the perfect measurement. Yes. Yes, you can put an yes, you can put an around. At least one inch or one point five. My idea is one inch. One inch. Yeah, all common. Is there a stand now? Any question? The neckline. The neckline, I said, before the fabric came to two, it's a four. Like this. This is Compulsory and it might not leave. I like uh, I like what? How many inches there? Eh? You said 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. Leave at least one. You can leave one inch. You can leave 1.5 inch. You can even start from here. But when you start from this edge, by the time you take the first measurement, it's not going to reach the. Do you understand what I'm saying? Can you get that thing? This is what I meant. When you start your measurement from here. <coughs> when you start from measurement from this edge and you slant down, maybe the boss measurement you want to you are taking which here. So how can this when you, and it's a slant line that you want? How can it it how can it so you not like this? It's not going to give you a, so that's why I say if you can leave one inch one point five by the time you slant it. It's going to reach whenever the measurement is. The first measurement is. That means you can slant from that edge. If you are sewing for a baby, you can slant from this edge. It's going to be next. You cut out. <laughs> you take the remnant of the neck, then that's why you used to cut out this area. But if you are saying for an adult, I will tell you, to, I will need you to use 1.5 inches or 1 inch for planting. Because there are some people with uh, big, uh, this thing now. So do you understand now? Can I go for that? So let's now assume you want to cut out, want to cut it out on a Lay what's cut out, what's cut, what's that now? Um, that's land ammo on a play gown. <laughs> this is that I'm holding your fabric in the form like the triangle now. The next thing you're going to do, you have this land line already. Yeah, when you put your fabric in the form. What you are going to do is to take the angle measurement, like I told you, you are going to add at least 2.5 inches to it. Let me say the angle measurement is here. It's 10 inches, without 2.5 inches. But I want you to come down a little bit before taking it. This is... This is... Um, this is what? Come down to these two inches. Then you take your ammo because you are still going to cut it out. When you join your arm, when you are when you are joining it, you know what I meant by this. You are still going to cut it out. When you are joining the ammo with the when you are joining, joining the sleeve with the uh, with the body. So come down with to so these two, two inches or two point five inches. Then you start your measurement of ten inches. The ammo measurement. Then you come here. And take your half cut. The half cut, let's assume the half cut is 13 inches. 
Then you take your first measurement. Let us go is 32 inches. Then you add half inch to it, making 34. That's 32 inches. When you add half inch in four places, it's going to give us what? So from this, this is where the 34 is now. Then now come here. Let's say the the waist measurement is 28 inches with the same allowance. <coughs> then you come down to the waist. Then you come out. So this has already given you the slant line already with the folding that you folded. So it's like a triangle play. The folding is triangle folding. So by the time you take your arrow measurement, you already have your folding already, your slant line already, not just one thing. Then you take the first measurement, you come down to this. <coughs> Half inch of what? Like this. No. If you're if you're folding a triangle plate, how does this going to turn out? Yes. So there's not going to it's not going to give you any allow or at or else if you're going to fold it twice. You fold the first one, but don't put allowance. You're going to put the zip right here at the joining here. And if you are sewing that arm leg on, you can make it stiff leg, then you join your dot leg. But you fold out like a child. I'm going to make a big question. Yes, then add 2.5 inch. So the same thing applicable to the sleeve. Make sure your sleeve is flat. Go down to the sleeve length. Make sure this area, this area, is the same measurement you take. Because once you're so by the time you join it, it should be the same. Then you can now shape out your neckline. So it can be on the top, it can be on a um, baby gown, this ball gown, it can be on a wire gown. For this type, you know, we can use round neck. Yes, you can only use round neck. If you want to make it of your spin neck, it's after when you join your uh, two shoulders. Maybe you are putting um if you if you check those uh your ball gown or the one with touch neck, it's only one neck. But if you want to make it of V neck, that means you are joining neck, you're joining sleeve to you. So after joining your that's why you are going to lay your front on your back. Okay, can you still bring your front this way then you make it any design you want? But it's usually a non-neck. And that one that will be smaller than it. How many inch? For the non-neck, it depends on how wide you want your non-neck to be. But this, when, after turning the sleeve, it's going to give you a small neck. Very tiny. It's like you're closing something. So you're not, you're not going to dip it down a little bit. Then you put your tattoo down to two inches. Like a band, yes. To make it tattoo neck. I can as well tape it in to give you normal and neck without band. You can use bias to tape it in. Like the one I, I, I'm wearing. Taking, taking the necessary measurements. Okay. Then you cut. Then you cut out. Cut it out. Okay. Then you cut. I don't know. I don't know what to make the fabric. Uh, the fabric. And now bring out your face. Okay. Then you place it on the face. On the on the face. Okay. On the face. Let's say. On the face, then you cut out. Yes. Then you cut each out. Yes. Two, two. You cut each out. Is it two, two? Then cut out. 
Two what? Two pieces. Two pieces. Okay. Two pieces. Two pieces. Two pieces. Okay. Two pieces. Okay. Two pieces. 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 So is it for, when you fold your fabric into four? When I, when uh, we will not see where to fold, the way to cut out the net. The net. If you fold the net into four equal, into four to determine your length. Yeah. You might fold it. Depending on the length, you're easy. It's it can be equal to that you folded your net today. Just make sure you know your length. So you're folding. It, you're folding. Holding your net, holding your bayonet, David. Yes. Holding bayonet. Net into four. Just hold it there, cut out. I can even hold it into two. Okay, what are you doing? If I'm if I'm cutting for um length, no, the length to cut out. Yes, there was one. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Thirty-seven. Out of what? Maybe twenty-five. Oh, and I, I'm missing that exact FCS. You know, you can see I'm going to go Yes, just go there now. Then you get twenty-five. Yes. Okay. 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 Okay, after folding, what do you mean? Cut out. Cut out. Measure your now. Ah. Then cut. Then cut. Which one? And when you fold, don't cut. Leave it. Oh, you fold, come on. You know when you fold, you cut. So don't let us write down. Hey, the next thing. Start Yeah, you want to know the, the join is. You can watch it online on YouTube. It's online. 